Okay, what we're looking at here is the uh, midsection or the sagittal section of the male reproductive system. And I always like to start off with a couple of landmarks and determine our routes. So here you can see the rectum, which is going to be our route for defecation, so our fecal material would exit here. Right here you can see the urinary bladder, so that's where urination would occur. So remember we have our kidneys up here, and that's going to allow urine to come down through the ureter here. So don't confuse the ureter with the vas deferens, which is this structure here. So the ureter is urinary system only, the vas deferens is uh, reproductive system only. All right, so if we were to follow the reproductive structures, uh, if we follow the sperm through, we'd actually start here on the outside portion of the body. So this tissue here, uh, encapsulating the testi or the testicle, is called the scrotum. All right, from here, uh, the sperm are made. Uh, they move into this structure here, which is called the epididymis. They are stored and they mature here, sperm cells. From here, the sperm would move up through this cord here. That would be called the vas deferens or ductus deferens. Now, you'll notice that it is more than just the vas deferens uh, tube in here. You're also going to find the red, which are arteries, and the blue, which are veins, and nerves, which are not shown. But all of that travels up into the body uh, as the structure called the spermatic cord. Think about a rope. It's made up of more than one um, uh, string. That travels into the body through this canal or opening called the inguinal canal. And then they travel past or posterior to the bladder. You uh, follow that vas deferens all the way to the posterior aspect of the bladder, where it's going to merge with this structure right here called the seminal vesicle or seminal gland. I'm going to take this off so we can see inside. All right, so here is that seminal vesicle or gland merging with the vas deferens. And when it does that, it's uh, merging inside the prostate gland. So this tube right here is called the ejaculatory duct. All right, and this here is the prostate gland, all this sort of purplish tissue. Now, the sperm are going to meet up with uh, the prostatic urethra, which is the structure right here. So this is where our reproductive and urinary systems are going to merge. Uh, from the prostatic urethra, that would move through the membranous urethra, which is not shown in particular on this model, but it does go through this structure, which is the urogenital diaphragm. So it's dividing uh, the inside and the outside of the body. It's basically the pelvic floor. From there, our urine will move into what's called the penile or spongy urethra in this structure here. So if we open this up, you can see this tube right here is the penile or spongy urethra. Now it's also called the spongy urethra because this reddish tissue that surrounds it here uh, is called the corpus spongiosum. Corpus meaning body, spongiosum referring to this spongy appearance. Um, over top of that, you're going to find the corpus cavernosum. And there's one on either side, so the spongiosum is one piece of tissue. The cavernosum is actually two pieces of tissue. That leads out to the tip of the penis, which is called the glans penis. Uh, and we should note that on all of the models that we have in lab, uh, they are, as we would say, circumcised. So um, when the baby comes out, uh, when a male baby comes out, it actually has a, a piece of skin over top of this glans penis called the prepuce, or more commonly known as the foreskin.